players in general. Did you know when I was a kid? I'm actually like super old school, so when I was a kid and like this game came out and like the professional scene was like thing, so I posted on Smash boards. Oh wow. And there's like this tutor system. And like they pointed me towards him. Really? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. That is so crazy. I don't believe this is next week, but we're getting into it. Sheik Falco on Dreamland. We've got the down throw chain grabs going down. Tech chases rather. Uh, something that Kirby has definitely been working on when he uh, reintroduced himself into the scene. Yeah, after that brief retirement there. I wouldn't call it brief. I think it was for a pretty decent chunk, like a few months, maybe even a year. Right. That he didn't like enter tournaments seriously. Yeah, fair enough. But uh, he's going to clean up the Azure Guard, take the first stock. Uh, his tag just showed up for a second. No, no, that was his Twitter. Never mind. Uh, this guy's tag still isn't on the screen yet. Uh, uh, you know what? Be to be honest, I think I think this might be the right tag. I think we you might think have had. Both next no, I think we might have had a mistake last time. I, I think I might have seen you know that what? scroll you by might, in the chat. You might be right. You might be right. Because that, the name Nexic, like I've seen a break at the at Downfall the last right. Michigan tournament. And Nexic was, didn't feel like that was his name. You know what I mean? But I could be wrong. I'm sure we'll be updated. But you know what? He's currently getting comboed. But he was able to uh, take the stock. Oh, he tried to. Um, I think he tried to get the ground check on that chair. Unfortunately, I don't think you could do it at that percent. I was actually asking Kirby because of this just before I came on to commentary. Uh, I asked him if I could do the Ops attack on knees. Right. He said after a certain while it's not going to work. So I'm going to assume because he's around 90 percent, same falls for fair. Wow, get good coverage. Oh, and he wow. falls way too low. Doesn't get the jump off. Kirby Cousin is going to take a pretty big lead. It was pretty even up to this point, but, you know. Yeah, that's just a sign of such a good player. You really kind of grab your lead and run away with it. Those are great wave blasts to get the follow-up down smash, by the way. That was, like, really clean. Um, just looks like his... Oh! Looks like his follow-up game might be fine. His uh, combo game might be a little bit uh, okay. But, like, the rest, like, maybe his little... That up there smash, right? Yeah. It really shouldn't have worked, but... but it's gonna be the stock. Yeah, okay. Split second, I got a little bit worried there. <laughs> it is Dreamland. Yeah. Kirby oh. Kaze quite literally just stood there and said, Come at me, bro. Tries right. to go for the up smash on the missed tech. Down air, didn't get fast. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh wow, nice recovery by Nexic. Kind of a little bit shaky, like Kirby Kaze like, rolled away. Probably wanted like shield stop back air or something. And, oh, wow, that weak nair is so, like, such a good option there. Wow, nice movement. Nexic is, uh, moving. You got greedy for the forward smash there. Yeah. But, neither pay for a down throw fair. Again, this is, uh... Which is, uh, that's actually not, that's not true. Uh, this is not Kirby Cousins' first game of the day. No. Uh, he definitely had doubles. Yeah, Teaming with KJH. Really good team that we should all watch out for. But anyway, we're going to go right into uh, FD. FD here. Surprised that he didn't ban this. Um, typically, oh. this is Sheik's worst stage. Wow. That was very weird. I feel like he should have grabbed edge. I was scared because she can only go straight up at that point. Right. So if you grab ledge, she's not going to recover. Kirby looking to answer back really quickly. Down throw tech chase. Gets a dash pack. Wow. Good crouch cancel. Crazy crouch cancel. That's such a high percentage. Uh -huh. But good awareness, of course. Covers the side B with that drop down there. That's a classic. Ooh. The needles might have caught him off guard. When the needles in the air, his back air got like delayed by just a, like, a little bit longer. Might yeah. have missed his L cancel for that. It looked like he like hesitated. Oh, Phantom oh, hit. Phantom, but it's good. he's going to combo off of it. He's using it. Yes, a nice, uh, nice tech chase as well. And just like that, Kirby Kaze is back in the lead. But yeah, that was a really good combo. Yeah, those needles are kind of getting in the way a little bit. It just uh, same thing with the uh, the back air onto the ground. It seems that it might have missed that all cancel as well. Kirby Kaze giving him a nice little Obama face. Seems good. That was definitely a seems good if I've ever seen it. Uh, you know, he's like I said, his combo games look really good. You can tell it's really good. Just maybe getting to that point might be a little bit harder for him. Right. Especially against like a Sheik and a Sheik of this caliber. Um, you just saw that wave dash back. You know, he tried to approach with the Nair. Wave dash back and after his shield. Yeah. Good idea by Nexic, but Kirby Kaze just had that covered. Uh huh. 
So what I just noticed during that uh, last tech chase sequence, uh, the, during the first one of the match, Nexic was only uh, teching in place. And so the mix-up actually got him out of the tech chase or the grab right, twice right. in a row. Oh, that might be really bad. Oh, That's probably it. Yeah. Well, you know, good uh, stuff. Definitely. Oh, is this? Oh, that's why he didn't ban empty, because it's a best of five. This is best of five? Yes, so all entries into top 32 are best of five. Really? Yes, yeah, so all like, so this is uh, obviously Kirby because they had a buy in first round. Yes, yeah, so this so this is going to be for top 32. Gotcha. Wow. So this is best of five. Look at that, eh? So this is winner's round three. Three, yes. Yeah, out of pools. Or three. Yeah. Three, three, three. three. Wow. So, uh, that's surprising. Shoutouts to a smaller event. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Having best of five this early on. We hit Nair to fair. Tsubikaze is good at this game, eh? I'm trying to think of what character can do that. Like, we hit Nair. Probably, like, the spaces could do it, but I won't kill. Right. But, uh, that was pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Nice little two hit, two piece combo. So what do you think of going back to like this stage? I know it's usually Felco's best stage, but do you kind of counterpick back to your best stage if you lose? What's your preference there? Uh, I think it depends on how the match was uh, played. That right there, by the way, that was actually really insane coverage. So the jump needle would cover the side beat to the ledge. Right. And because you know when you do a B move and you land, there's no lag. So you can keep the neutral beyond the ground right away. So the needle covered the side beat, and then right after it covered the up beat. That was actually like really legit. All right, so oh, we're good. Oh. yeah. Okay, so yeah, we just got confirmation that it's yeah. all qualifying matches are best of five, and I think after that as well into tomorrow, top thirty-two. It's got to be all best of five as well. Five. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that's actually really cool. Something I didn't know about this event. I actually forgot about it. I was told about it, and then uh, I forgot about it now, but. Uh, did he get that down smash right there? He tried to do it again. Yep. Uh, if he tried to up B there, he would have got hit by the one needle, and then he was ready for the next. Right. Uh, one other thing that uh, people might not notice about what he's doing: the needle placements. In, in, like he might, like right there, right? That needle placement. It's actually to screw up his L cancel timing. Because what happens is when Falco tries to short hop aerial, he's gonna hit the needles on his way down. Yeah. So it delays the L cancel timing just by enough that you could screw it up potentially. Exactly. And if you actually wa went back and watched these two games on FD, he has been doing that pretty consistently. Yeah. I remember he was telling me about that when he faced Trulium. And uh, you could see Trulum was getting a little bit flustered by it. Right. And... Oh! Up there. Yeah, wow. Nice. Nice conversion. Alright. That was good stuff to Kirby Kaze. But you know what? We actually... There were some moments there by Nexic. He actually looked very uh, very in tune with the matchup. I and agree. I mean, he started...